Hey, Brent, it's Macarena and Lewis. Hi, Brent. How are you? You didn't meet Brent, did you? Not yet, oh, but you, we're going to meet each You would have liked him, for sure. <laughs> Anyhow, Lewis is actually the builder of these homes, yeah. and we actually love doing business with him because he kind of overbuilds, quite frankly, which say. is a good thing for, you know, anyone else. Yeah. <laughs> Hey, it's never, it's never good enough. In my opinion. <laughs> it's so. never good enough. So anyhow, we're going to show you around the blue house because we have pictures, but we don't have a video. Right. So I know you're like the expert and the guru. So please forgive my. Please feel free to edit this, Brent. No problem. But we're doing this custom for you. <laughs> uh, Jeannie mentioned he wanted to see the blue house. So what better way to yeah. bring it to you than live? And because it was rainy today, she was like, you know, maybe I'll take pictures later. And I'm mm -hmm. like, well, I'm headed out of town so I can go by Lewis's and we can just do a video for you. So that's what we're doing for you, babe. Again, we're not the professionals, so forgive us. And we're going to talk about this blue house that we're actually at. Right. And you can see right behind me, there's also a, a lot, a vacant lot that uh, Lewis is going to be speaking about. And again, I'm not the professional, but you can see the lot right there. Um, and then, and I go back over here, here's the blue house. Oh, well, there's Lewis we're again. On the and we're on the brand of the blue house. And then this is the street that comes straight down. Beautiful. You see the electricity lines, which actually Lewis brought in, which is kind of nice for the neighborhood. Anyhow, so I know you drove by it, so you have a good frame of reference. So Lewis, show us the house. So here, here's what I'm, we're doing for you today, Brent. Uh, we're coming up on the Christmas season. There's a total of eight houses that I built in this subdivision. I have nine lots. Six of the houses are sold, including one I kept for myself, because I never do, but this time I did. <laughs> um, what I'm going to offer you today is pretty much a pretty spectacular deal. It's not on the market as an offer, but I'm going to put it out there to you. Macarena says you're a great guy. You're really interested in Belize, and they're a great team to work with. Um, so again, let me reiterate, I have six of the eight houses are sold. This blue one is left, which is a beauty, and then the yellow one right beside is left. And then I have this uh, last lot left in this subdivision that's left open for sale. So. Let me just give you a little bit of breakdown about the house. We'll start with the veranda. Um, I've been in Belize 17 years, so I know a lot of stuff about do's and don'ts about how to build houses, what works, what doesn't work. Number one thing, if you look here on the screening, um, it's double screen. It has the regular screen that you're accustomed to in your window frames, but I also put a wire mesh over the front of it. Reason for that, birds, if you can't hear them, they love it. They're, they don't recognize it's here. So with the metal mesh there, when they bump into it, it doesn't tear out your screen. So it's double screen. If you come down here, for rental purposes or if you have animals or anything like that, they love to get on the bottom of the screen and lay on it. So I put in a kickboard all the way around the entire screening so that the kids, dogs, nothing's gonna knock the screen out of the bottom. Very important, okay? Then if you notice the color of the deck, it's a dark brown, uh, the bottom of the deck here. This is called the 10X Advanced Roll-On Sealer. You can see it, it's really nice stuff. It's waterproof, it's 10X advanced sealer. What it does, it seals in the wood. No splinters, no screw holes, nothing is gonna penetrate it. It's water resistant, it'll last forever, okay? You've got a brand Wait new- Wait a minute, let's talk about the, the deck again because you actually put screening underneath. Oh, yeah, so no I, mosquitoes. I, I, so, well, yeah, this is right. it's, it's because it's, I don't like mosquitoes. Okay, there's no, <laughs> real, there's no real purpose to screening in a veranda that you can't sit on at night. So I went the extra mile, she's right. Um, I screened in and framed in the bottom of all the decking so you can sit out here at night. This place is completely encased. No mosquitoes, no bugs, no nothing. Which is awesome because it's actually raining and, and we're not getting attacked no by anything. Which is nothing's kind of, gonna bother you. Actually, kind of cool. There's lots of birds around though. Yeah, that's why I did the double awesome. screening because there's birds. But the, she's <laughs> right. If you sit out here at night and you didn't and you didn't have the screening underneath the deck, you wouldn't be able to sit out here at night because obviously the mosquitoes are gonna come up through the slats in the boards. So it's all screened underneath. So you can sit out here. So in reality, this is actually a living space, uh, outdoor living space, and this deck is. Uh, 10 by 36, so it's it's quite large. Okay. Then I want to show you some things here. Um, you probably noticed when you looked at the house when you drove by. I call this this is real cheap insurance policy. It's private peace of mind. It's ornate. We do all this hand all this railing by hand. It's some people call them burglar bars. I don't. It's decorative railing. It's great for if we have a hurricane. Your windows aren't going to break out. If you're not here, you don't got to worry about anybody trying to get in your house, nothing like that. And it doesn't look intrusive. It looks beautiful. It's handmade. It's around the entire house, including your double screen door here, or sliding glass door. Same thing here. It's done up nice, beautiful. Um, since we're on the outside of the house, so another security feature that I add onto these houses, around the entire outside of the house, you can't see it right now, but it has uh, what they call dust to dawn lights. Okay, so maybe you can see one. Well, maybe not. Don't get wet. We're bringing you outside, Brent. Oh, 
There's one on her right now. It's on right now. Okay. So what those lights do? That's the birdies. Yeah. How beautiful. Focus, Macarena. Okay. <laughs> she likes birds. But um, what those lights will do, so let's say, for instance, you're not here, you're here, whatever the situation is. They come on automatically at night and they go off automatically in the morning whether you're here or not. So it's another added security feature. Good to have. Good to know. All right. So that's pretty much the outside of the house. Let's go on the inside. So I know you're going to love this. Follow me. A little, a little something you should know about me before I get into the details. Um, I'm a really detail-oriented person. I've been building for most of my life. He's anal. <laughs> I don't call it that, but... Well, fastidious? Yeah, okay, that's a better way to put it. But I like everything done the way it should be. I like everything done by U.S. standards, and I know what buyers like and what they would appreciate, and I also know what's durable in this country. I've been through a lot of ups and downs and tested out different stuff, and this is the stuff that works. So we'll start with the kitchen. Um, the kitchen is complete granite, all custom uh, imported granite. The countertops are all granite. You have a beautiful tile backsplash that goes around the whole entire kitchen. All of the kitchen is, uh, all the uppers are cedar, the bottoms are mahogany, so all custom made, all made. And then you have smoke glass inserts, a very large kitchen, all name brand appliances, all brand new. A lot of added little features in the kitchen. I'm not sure if you're married or not, even if you're not. Little stuff like this is where I get angle, I guess. You have this corner here, so instead of wasting the corner, you open this up, it folds out, and you get into the entire corner of the cabinet so nothing's wasted. For like pizza pans and things oh. like that that you can't fit anywhere else. I need that in my house. Everybody wants that feature. <laughs> <laughs> so, and you're a bachelor, and you I, still like, I still, no, you I, think of all these beautiful I things. Think of things like this. Then, um, you look at, the, uh, this may or may not matter to you, but it matters to me. Uh, High-end rollers, everything is on, um, not the cheap little wood things that they usually will find in these homes. You have everything's on ball bearings, finger pull inserts, so there's no actual hardware. This is more of a modern thing nowadays. That's what, I watch a lot of uh, uh, flip this house kind of stuff, and that's the going thing nowadays is to have no hardware showing on the outside. So I had these hand and pull inserts put on there so you don't have any hardware on them. That's just a little thing I do. Um, look at the floors. These floors, they're not just regular common wood floors. These floors, we hand pick each piece of wood that's on here. Some of it's poison wood, some of it's rose wood, some of it's cabbage bark. It's all different. And we actually laid each one so that each one has a different colored pattern. Instead of just throwing it down there, we actually took the time to look at it. So it's actually a piece of art. If you look at it, you actually see it better when you get here. But you see some of them have a red grain, some of them are light, and then you go into a dark grain and then a red grain. So I mixed it up and took the time. The guys that work with me probably thought I was insane, <laughs> but that's what I did. So um, you have a nice chandelier for, the, for your dining area. You've got nice island lights here. All Hunter ceiling fans throughout the entire house. You got a 24,000 BTU air conditioning system. Oh, there's air conditioning. Yes, air conditioning. Imagine that. Oh. You got to come up a little bit so we can see. I got to come up. Okay. Right there. See that? So that's 24,000 BTUs. The entire house is insulated from floor to ceiling. So you turn this air conditioner on, it's will cool down this whole house in a matter of an hour or less. Okay? And, and it's very efficient. And you're, you have two bedrooms and two you bathrooms. You have two bedrooms and two bathrooms in this one. So let me show you the first bathroom. Um, you gotta excuse me on this one, the light bulb just burned out, but you get around that. <laughs> um, this one has a shower, it's got granite countertops, it's all tiled out, the shower's beautiful, it's got custom mirrors, custom built shelves, granite countertops, big shower. In case you do have a lady, this is another one of those little features that we thought about right here. You got the little shaving stand for her to sit in the shower and shave her legs. Women love that. Okay, so I'm having a little bit of trouble because I have this turned around wrong. I can't see what we're filming. Oh, there's the seat. <laughs> That's for shaving your legs. <laughs> Not that you do, but you, know, you never know. Okay, so that's bathroom number one. That would be your main bathroom to, for your guests or whatnot to use. Now you have an ensuite uh, master bedroom here. Again, hunter ceiling fans. Both bedrooms. I didn't want to put back doors. I didn't want to put back doors on the house. So what I did in the case of that, instead of for a fire feature, both bedrooms have fire escape windows. So all you have to do is pull this and pop out the burglar bars and you're out of the window. So both bedrooms have fire escape windows instead of a back door. It's awesome. Okay, then you have an ensuite bathroom. This one has another great thing besides AC. This one has a bathtub in it. 
Yeah, it does. It does. And it's all tiled by, out. By the way, Brent, I haven't seen this house yet inside, so it's like really, I'm, I'm seeing it with you for the first time. <laughs> oh, a bathtub. Yep. It, I know that kind of sounds silly that we're excited about it's a bathtub, but it's very rare here. So you got a bathtub and a shower, granite countertops, custom mirror, all done nice, all done good nines. All beautiful. And then you have a, the vaulted ceiling here too, so you have a nice big bathroom. It's, it seems nice. And then just what you have, I have a, this one in here too for as well because the ceiling's insulated, so if you ever need to get up into the ceiling to check anything, yeah, we did do that so you don't have to kick a hole in your ceiling. <laughs> <laughs> People don't think about these things, but it's, it's... I love the door. Yeah, isn't that beautiful? This is a, like I said, everything, in, in all the houses I build, I do, I pick everything, but I swear to you, I pick everything by hand. The, the people that I buy from, they, when they see me coming, they're like, oh my God, here he comes. <laughs> here he comes. And then both bedrooms have little, little walk-in closets as well. So... Okay, perfect. Yep. So this is house number one. one. This is the one that you were interested in. Um, this is the bedroom, and there's a second bedroom too, There's right? a second bedroom right here. So you saw two bedrooms, one, two bathrooms, and then you have another bedroom here as well. So really, when you look at this house from the road, it doesn't look nearly what it is on the inside. A lot of people that have looked at my house is always like, wow, we had no idea. But they, look so, they don't look so large, but when you get in here, we use the space very well. This is not a large bedroom, this is a really large bedroom. This would be the spare room. Right? Very beautiful, very nice. Everything's the same. Hundred ceiling fans, walk-in closet. The, the floors, same way. We picked out each piece of wood and organized them so they look like artwork. And you have the fire escape windows as well. That's awesome. Yep. Another great thing here, not that it really should matter, but um, if you're curious, on this side of you here, okay, you've got a covered carport. This would fit two cars. And then adjacent to that, you have two parks, so you'd have no neighbors on this side of you, period. Oh, and the lot behind you. So and, you have, and, and then on this side behind you, uh, an oil driller from England bought the three lots behind you, so you're going to have some nice fancy houses behind you. So as far as property value is concerned, you're covered. This is going to be a no-brainer. So I'm going to turn this off because I know we've gone over, I'm sure, on time-wise that I can actually upload this. So keep the faith. Hopefully we'll get this video to you today. And hugs, we're going to send you another video in just a minute. Well. We're going to record another video for you in just a minute, and then we'll send it to you. Bye.